Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of Tea Time with Torloth, One Pot. I'm talking about Marvel's Avengers this week. And to be honest, this is one of the games that I almost didn't want to make a video on. But part of me wanted to talk about it because there is good game design in here. And unfortunately, I don't have any footage of it because I was just playing it. Of the good gameplay, I should say. I have footage of the game, but just not the fun gameplay. Because I always turn off the recording when I'm like, okay, the next mission is going to be the same. And it wasn't. I want to start out with, I have no... I'm not trying to say bad things about the Avengers because I want people to to think my opinion's the only opinion. I don't ever think that you shouldn't enjoy a game because I don't enjoy a game. Now, the reason I want to talk about this is because service games have been a trend in gaming that I'm just not a fan of. And I've played a few of them. Destiny, Final Fantasy XIV, World of Warcraft, Avengers here. I've been playing some Fortnite, but Fortnite's kind of a different beast because it's all PvP and it really doesn't have any pay to win or upgrade type mechanics. But service games like Destiny and Marvel's Avengers here, I'm talking about the original Destiny, not Destiny 2, have a lot in common, in my opinion. And that. They came out with a massive amount of hype and, and a massive amount of, of like company backing and a lot of advertisement and they just were not enough there. There just wasn't enough there. And this is a shame because I know there's a lot of people out there that love Marvel movies and this could have been great. And you know, I saw that first mission they were showing off where it was a little like the very first mission of the game that they showed off everywhere. It's like, oh, we get to play a little bit of everybody. That's cool. It was super scripted. That whole section was super scripted. And every mission that is actually interesting is super scripted. A lot of the ones that I played, now maybe the later and newer ones are better because this is a live service game. But so far, I, I don't want to beat the, the base campaign. I, I don't. And that's unfortunate. And unfortunately, Avengers here is going to become a complaint board for some of the things that I dislike the most from service based video games like Avengers, like Destiny, like Anthem. Anthem being the prime example of this game did not come out anywhere near finished, but let's just make it anyway. But then we just not gonna finish Anthem. Anthem is Anthem next is never happening now. We're not gonna polish up and fix the game. It's gonna be a half broken mess forever. And that's that's the real danger with these surface games and supporting them. Is that a lot of them can just disappear like that. Or just drop support and then there's nothing fun about the game anymore. These drums have been beaten before. The live service games are bad. And well, I think a lot of them aren't bad per se, but they're not great. And they're not what I consider a great game. I don't think I've ever played a live service game and been like, this is the best game I've ever played in my life. There's always downgrades from a single player experience in my opinion with service games and games that are online only 
like in a single player game, you don't need to have a server keeping everyone at the same thing and keeping the consistent visuals of all the players at all times. You know, multiplayer games tend to be more dynamic in nature because there's players and players will do different things and each player will play the game differently. There are missions that are heavily scripted and they introduce characters. Uh, Kamala, the main character, is, you know, sneaking around to go meet someone and you have to like sneak out of a park. It's a good section. It's not like the best section I've ever played, but it's good. It's followed by being chased from rooftop to rooftop by robots, and drones, and finished off by a little bit of combat in the little combat arena. A fun little progression. Sneaking, running, combat. You know, what you'd expect from a personal game. When you have a multiplayer only game, or a service game, it would be really hard to have a failure state involving a sneaking section like you would in a single player game. So, there's still like stealth in the multiplayer that I've seen. There might be, but it could be half baked. You know, the running section. Sure, you could have those in multiplayer, but they probably don't translate as well. What if one of the players messes up? You know, a platforming jump. What do you do? Just set them to the next checkpoint? Do you just back up everybody? It's... You're adding more variables when you make these games multiplayer. And I'm not saying that you can't do it. I'm thinking what maybe should have been the thing is that the main campaign was a single player only event where everyone would go through the whole thing, no leveling up, no gear, just go through the whole thing, have a, a well crafted, maybe short. Short, I think, is fair. A short sort of maybe 10 hours or so campaign could be less depending probably closer to like six or eight but it could have been a small short campaign from the beginning to an end and then have multiplayer content aside from it right now what you have is the base game the original content the content it launched with is like the base story that you set up for the other bits and there's more story dlc out there i think the war for wakanda is the newest one let me just look here uh story expansion there's taking aims future impact cosmic cubes and war for wakanda so they're at their fourth um story expansion at this point the problem is is that you they've designed the single player portion to be the multiplayer portion so you have these really cool and very short maybe 15 minute long missions that are essentially good single player missions sprinkled between padded unfortunately designed and trope not trope filled but gaming sin filled secondary missions so yes there's like oh go rescue these people and there's like optional objectives in these maps for the most part it's not bad it really isn't and i don't think it's the worst game i've ever played my problem is is that it does the gaming sim thing of stand in a circle and fight a wave of dudes fight waves of dudes i should say anthem did this destiny did this and it honestly is just i'm more okay with the party gets locked in a room and you have to fight your way out then stand in a circle and fight waves of dudes like every service game has these too and it's like okay so they're just gonna do it once the next multiplayer enabled map had it and i was just like yeah after this mission i'm probably just done i'm gonna uninstall it get the 164 gigs back from my xbox and install something else play something else and it's kind of a shame because i was hoping that maybe it'd be good and other people want to play it with me and i could play it with other people but it's not and i have even touched on the progression system because i didn't like that either 
There's like levels to things. I don't know what level my character is, and I didn't really care. Levels don't add much to games, in my opinion, when it's a superhero game. Like, when have we ever seen, outside of like a movie where they're supposed to not win, a character like Hulk not be able to do a lot of damage or something? I can't think of a lot of things that could survive a punch or a smash or a kick from the Hulk. It's it's a weird mix, is what I want. I think I want to say, of good ideas, well done single player components, but really not well done multiplayer levels. It's almost like someone decided to halfway through the project turn it into a service game rather than keep it as a single player experience i have no evidence of that but it is what it is but i've gone up for like 13 or so minutes at this point and i think that's a good place to stop so what do you think of marvel's avengers please let me know in the comments if you think that what i'm saying is completely bunk or you agree with me. Uh, I look forward to reading them and I'll see you next time. So until next time, matane.